So there are two jets are there. One is clockwise and one is anticlockwise. So we have selected clockwise. Anticlockwise is cosine, right? Ah. So if you shift this one to other jet, so this will go back. One more. All right. Here, how many are there? Yeah. How many? How many? How many? Speed is constant. Speed is constant. We have selected 0.25 revolutions per minute. Okay. Revolutions so according to that, according to this chart, we have shifted all the levers. Okay. We are going to vary the voila, voila. depth of cut is constant and feed is constant. That is 0.25 revolutions per minute. So we are varying the RPM of the spindle. RPM. Yeah, to be there is a certain depth of cut. You keep it 0.25 minutes. Point five is also too much. You go for point two five mm depth of cut and record it as point two five. Point two five. How much is it? One mm. Point two. Point five. Point five mm. Depth of depth of cut is point five mm. Point five. Okay. Rotational speed on that. So depth of cut is 0.5 mm. 0.5 mm. So it removes 1 mm diameter. Right? Okay. So the RPM of the spindle we have kept it 345 revolutions per minute. RPM is 350. 345. First. First. 345. And speed is 0.25. Speed is 0.25. That is calculated. Depth of cut is calculated. Now cutting for x y. Okay, so from the digital force indicator, we have taken Z and it is connected to the tool force. Why Z? Why? And why? Why is center position? Then X. And it is X. Yeah, the battery is running out here. 345 RPM.
definite and depth is constant. Yeah, the second round speed is constant, eh? 550 rpm. And we are varying the feed rates, and the depth of cut is fixed for 0.5 mm for mild steel component. Zero point two three is the speed. Speed. This is the speed. This speed is 550 mm revolutions. Thank you. 